In this problem, we're asked to find the domain range of a function f of x, and f of x is given as a vertical table of values. In this particular problem, we've decided to put the inputs x on the left column and the outputs f of x in the right column. If you remember what domain and range are, the domain is the set of all possible x values, so those would be these. We simply need to list all of these numbers with commas between, but use proper set notation. Set notation starts by using a left curly bracket, or I call them a brace. So left curly bracket is a left bracket, but you have to hold the shift down on your keyboard. And then you just simply list in ascending order, starting with the smallest x value, going to the largest. And in the chart, they're already listed in this way. I'm simply just going to type them out in the order they're written. Notice I'm putting commas between, and don't forget at the end to put a right curly bracket to indicate that you're done listing your set of inputs. Your range will be the same thing using set notation, left curly bracket, but this time I'm going to list all the possible outputs. Because this is a table of values, there's a finite number. In fact, I see six different possible outputs. We like to list them from smallest to largest. I see that 7 is my smallest, next largest 10, 14, the next largest looks like 53, then 55, and then finally 71. Again, don't forget to close this off with a right curly bracket. I always call them braces. And that should be my range in correct set notation.